welcome to my November monthly favorites. Few things before I get started. First off, I'm on the tail. <coughs> I'm on the tail end of my sickness, so I'm sorry if I'm still a little bit stuffed up. I hope I don't sound too annoying. Clearly someone is not taking care of us all. Second, thank you for all of the compliments on my new hairdo. I'm so in love with it. Again, huge thank you and shout out to Hair by Lily in San Jose for giving me the hair of my dreams. First time I went to her a few months ago, we just did balayage ombre just to get it to be a little bit lighter. This time around, she did baby lights and a color melt and then definitely lifted the hair a lot more. And then for the color, I think she went in with purples, some smoky ash tones, and also some bronze metallics to get this like customized color for me. If you guys are in the Bay Area looking for a master colorist, definitely hit her up, let her know Erica sent you, and I'll continue to fill you guys in on the hair journey. So, anyway. Let's get down to business. We've got a lot of favorites. I also have a giveaway at the end of this video and I've got giveaways coming up in all of my next gift guide videos. So, hope you guys are happy. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. And let's get started. All right, y'all, you know the routine. Let's start off with some home items and then we'll move to beauty and then we'll end with some fashion. Monthly favorite one and two are gonna be nice home smelling items. Number one is going to be my favorite new candle this is from the company Chesapeake Bay Candle Company and this scent is cinnamon chai latte. Ugh, the smell. So good. I love anything that's like spicy, holiday, warm goodness. The burn time on this guy is around 30 hours, so I think it's like a perfect large candle for the middle of your coffee table. What actually drew me in first was the mercury cracked glass. I just love that like metallic sheen. I think it looks like a really expensive like West Elm like decor piece. For those of you that like candles that not only smell good, but also look really good by themselves, definitely check this guy out. Got this guy on sale at Target during Black Friday weekend for like 10 to 15 bucks. Monthly favorite number two. Ooh, this is a different kind of smelly thing in the house. <laughs> I've actually been getting really into incense lately. I've been really into like clearing bad energy and I just got really inspired being in Colorado. Everything was just very spiritual. So I picked up a few incense sticks and then I ended up getting in this really gorgeous incense holder on amazon.com. This is the Willow Leaf Incense Burner and I loved it because it was just so elegant and you can't even tell like it's an incense holder. You just stick the incense stick into this little hole at the End, and it holds it perfectly balanced. All of the ashes just fall in the middle of the tray and it's just very inconspicuous and beautiful to look at. So if you guys are into incense and you're looking for a really pretty feminine holder, I highly recommend this one. It's not bulky, it's so minimalist and beautiful, like a little sculptural piece. And if you're interested in the incense that I burn in my house, I have these four from the company Hem. I've got eucalyptus, white sage to clear all the bad juju, Egyptian jasmine, and then this one called Call Money. And Jeremy was like, oh, does that one smell really good? And I was like, I don't care if it smells like poop because the box says, burn this to welcome money. I'm gonna burn a bonfire worth of this stuff, okay? <laughs> so those are my top four favorite scents. I think you could buy these like super in bulk for very cheap, even on amazon.com. And then this little holder itself is around 20 to $25 off amazon.com. Moving on to mother favorite number three, I have a tech accessory item that has completely changed my life. I have been completely obsessed with my brand new pop socket. I actually love this thing so much. I bought two new sets during the Cyber Monday sale, so I can't wait to get those in the mail. But for right now, I've got this one and basically this guy is a circular disc you can stick it on the back of any of your devices like your phone or your tablet and then when you pop the guy open it serves as literally the most amazing hand gripping stability system for you to actually hold your phone to take selfies to stand it up for better viewing and also you can wrap around your earbuds for like some cord management hallelujah I have been looking for something to help me hold my iPhone 7 plus I have such tiny hands and I transitioned from like the regular iPhone to the Plus. I can switch my phone view so easily. I can actually reach the other side of my phone now that I have the stability on the back side. I also love to use this to prop it on top of like my vanity or a mirror whenever I'm like doing my makeup. I like to listen to music, to watch a little TV, or when I'm laying down in bed, I could prop it up and watch it a lot easier. I just, oh my God, you guys, I'm so obsessed with it. Even though they're really strong, I've been able to move it around my phone several times with no issues. It still holds its strength and tackiness so far. They come in so many cool colors and patterns. I have this marble one with a pink heart, but I just got the blue marble one and then a 
rose gold aluminum one, so I'm excited to get those, to do two of them on the back. And then you can also get this cool accessory called the pop clip. I haven't attached this to my car yet, but basically it's a little clip that you can attach somewhere and then slip it right into the pop clip like this and it can hold it upright so I can look at my maps and not, you know, have the phone in my hand. Not that I do that. <laughs> this guy was $10 and then the clip was another 10 bucks and then for the Cyber Monday deal I was able to get a set for $10 total. So definitely check these out. This is an amazing under $20 gift idea. It's an incredibly useful item and anyone of any gender, any age can use it. So yee! moving on to the next category, let's talk about our beauty monthly favorites. Monthly favorite number four is going to be the king of all toners. This is the Korean brand Sun and Parks Beauty Water. I think this is already like a cult favorite product, but I've been using mine for about a month, month and a half, and I'm already a complete lifer on it. As you guys can see, I've already used a big chunk of the top. If I could sum it up in one sentence, it is the most effective exfoliating toner that also leaves your skin like pillowy soft. Oftentimes if I use a really strong toner, my skin turns really red, it turns really dry and really crackly and it starts to flake off. This guy has never taken any moisture for my skin. There's something about the formula. It's definitely focused on more like plant-based ingredients. There's lavender, there's rose, there's orange extract, and most importantly, papaya. The papaya enzyme is really good at sloughing off all the dead skin cells, especially during the winter time. I love this because it's effective, but very gentle. Only downside is that this thing's pricey. This thing is $30. I've been using it more sparingly and just using it at night because I want it to last a little bit longer. I literally don't ever want to use another toner again. It is so fantastic. So if you guys love Korean skincare, want a really nice premium toner, I highly recommend this guy. Monthly favorite number five. I'm sorry I'm late to the party, guys. I finally tried the Foreo Luna Mini 2. I got this in a gift set during the VIB Rouge sale, and I actually bought another one to give to you guys this December. So definitely keep tuning into my gift guides because I will be giving away a few um, premium Sephora gift sets, including this little guy. This one is just the regular model. You have the thicker nubs on the back. This is like the anti-aging area. And then you have the softer, silicone bristles in the front. I'm also glad that I actually waited for the Mini 2 because I think that the surface area of the bristles is a lot greater than the first model. I look forward to using this at the end of every day because it feels really just therapeutic on my skin. The ergonomic shape just fits so perfectly into every single crevice around my face. It clears up and breaks down all of the makeup really, really well. This guy's also small enough for traveling, which is really nice. You can control the speed and intensity and you also don't have to charge this sucker for months. So being a Clarisonic user for a few years now, honestly, I still love both of them. I just use this one a lot more. I find this guy to be more gentle, more therapeutic, and more compact and portable and just easier to manage. So I do prefer this for daily cleansing. Obviously, you also don't have to worry about changing out the brush heads, which could be kind of costly. And then I use my Clarisonic if I'm covering more like surface area, like I'm trying to like battle like acne on my back or my chest. I think they both have their own unique strengths and you know, it's not money wasted because I'm still using them just for different purposes. God bless beauty and technology. And last but not least, let's talk about some of my fashion favorites. This is going to be a category item. I've been completely completely obsessed with this year's BP sweater line. You guys have seen me wear these sweaters nonstop in all of my fashion videos the past month, two months. I've been so impressed with the quality and the materials and the colors. So I thought I'd just do a quick little roundup of all of my core favorites that I use on, you know, just basic daily rotation. So you guys can see the differences. First BP favorite sweater is going to be the BP ribbed mock neck pullover. This one is great for those of you who are looking for a longer, tunic style. This one personally is long enough to wear as a sweater dress. Great for those of you that want a little extra booty coverage. I'll also give this about a medium warmth level. Number two is going to be the BP Raglan pullover sweater. You guys are probably sick of seeing this sweater because I just put it in my capsule wardrobe, but I love this guy for colder, especially like rainy days. The material is extra thick and soft. Also got more of like a sweatshirt slouchy cut to it with the Raglan like little seams here on the sides. Definitely higher on the warmth level. Level. Then favorite number three, this is the drop shoulder sweater. I got this earlier in the season. This one has a more boxy cropped silhouette. The material is more breathable. I'll label this as a low on the warmth level. Great for those of you who aren't experiencing super cold weather right now. I have this in this gray color and also in black. Favorite number four is the BP V-neck long sleeve sweater. The material is a superstar in the sweater. It's so snuggly and soft, like your favorite blanket at home that you cuddle up in, but it's also very lightweight. 
It's not as breathable as the crew neck drop shoulder, but it is still definitely on the thinner side. And I would still call this like a low warmth level, a great layering piece for sure. Got this guy in the Heather Gray and the black. And then favorite number five, I'm kind of cheating, but this has been a new addition to this everyday basic. So I just want to call it out. This is the BP mock neck tee. And I love this guy as a great tight fitted base layer. It's a little bit more on the sexy side. You got a little bit more coverage on the neck if you want something that's more of a turtleneck fit. The rim material has nice elasticity, so it really keeps its shape well. Also got this guy in a gray and a black. I clearly have a gray and black problem, but I love sticking with neutrals with these basics because it goes really well with a lot of my statement pieces, like my bright color scarves, and I end up wearing these a lot more. So all five of these styles are also $39. I noticed that they have so many different BP sweaters this year, and as they introduce new ones, a lot of the old ones um, go on sale. So stock the site, you can get really good deals on these guys, and honestly, I haven't had a bad one yet, so. And last but not least, burr, 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 grand finale of today's monthly favorites is going to be my Yode Wood Watches. I featured this guy in my fall lookbook back in October and I got so many questions about them. So I'm so excited to talk about them in depth today. Quick backstory, I actually have been using and loving this brand for about a year and a half now. I collabed with them on my blog and I was so elated when they reached out to me again this year wanting to collab and also sponsor a giveaway to my Miss Louie family. So thank you so much Yode. I'm I'm gonna be giving out three $130 gift cards to three random lucky winners. Let's get into the watches and then we'll go into the giveaway rules. The brand is called Yod. It's spelled like Jord, J-O-R-D, but it's pronounced Yod. It is actually the Swedish word for earth, land, and soil, which is the perfect name because all of their watches are made from real wood from all around the world. None of the wood is artificially stained or painted. So like this beautiful burgundy one, you actually can see the real beauty of the natural wood, which I I just think it's so organic and beautiful. All of the links are cut and moved just like a regular metal watch, but it's all made of wood. I don't even know how they make these things, but it's really badass. But the most important reason why I really support this brand is because the wood does not irritate my skin. I started to develop a really bad allergy to like a lot of those thick, heavy metal watches. These watches are not only the most lightweight watches that I have, but the wood never clips my skin. I never break out into a terrible hive. For that reason alone, it has been a really awesome addition and alternative. You get the same high-end designer feel, but with a more earthy vibe. So let me show you guys the three that I have. This first one, I'm gonna start off with my favorite. This is a part of the Frankie series. The color that I have is called Purple Heart and Plum. This is my statement watch because of the gorgeous color. The face has the matching burgundy purple color. And then the hands and the tick marks are all rose gold, which I think adds a little bit more of like a modern glam touch to it. Other two favorite colors in the Frankie series would have to be the Koa and Ash. I like that one for probably like a more neutral everyday look. That might be my next purchase. And then my other favorite is one I was debating between this or that. It was the Sandalwood and Emerald. I love the green face. It's another good statement watch. If these guys are a little bit too big for your liking, definitely check out the Frankie 35 series. It's got the same style, but just a smaller face if you're looking for something more petite. Speaking of petite, my second one is gonna be from the Cora series. I like this watch when I want something more discreet and a little bit great for everyday day. The color I have is maple and silver. The two biggest unique things about this guy though, this is a more expensive watch because it's a self-winding automatic watch so it doesn't use any batteries. And then on the inside of the face, you've got some cute Swarovski crystals for a little bit of bling bling. <laughs> so that's the little baby Cora. And then the last one I have is the Field Crest. This is the most entry level model I believe. The color that I have is dark sandalwood. I wanted something to contrast the statement color and the neutral color. So I wanted something a little bit more dark and dramatic. The design is very simple kind of like the Frankie, except the Frankie has a more like premium um, interface versus this guy, which makes the field crest a little bit lighter. The background of the field crest is also like the actual wood itself. So you have the same texture going from the outside through the inside. If you guys wanna check out how I style these guys with actual outfits, you guys can click right here or the link down below in the box to check out my fall lookbook. Any of the Yod watches make an amazing premium gift option for Christmas. They size the watches for you before they ship it out. You can also get some custom engraving and most of the watches come in this beautiful cedar box. So you not only have a beautifully gift wrapped present, but it also is a very handy storage box and I actually use each one to store each one of my watches. Finally, drum roll please. The giveaway is going to be super simple. The prizes again are gonna be three $130 e-gift cards to Yode so you could buy your own watch. All right guys, so to enter the giveaway, it's super simple. Go ahead and click the link that's at the top of my description box down below in this video. 
It will take you straight to my exclusive giveaway entry page on the Yode website. Go ahead and scroll down, type in your name, your email address, and then below that, you go ahead and pick your favorite watch. You can either select it from the drop down menus if you already know which one that you like, or you can click the View Our Watches button right next to the question. And it'll open up a new tab so you can browse the website to figure out what your favorite um, model is. Then after you're done picking, you just go back and hit that Submit Entry button and you are done. And this giveaway contest is going to end on December 13th, so make sure to get to the site and submit your giveaway entry before that evening at 11.59 Pacific Time. And last but not least, if you happen to not win, never fear. If you're still interested in the watches, I have a $25 off your next order. You can put at checkout. I'll include that code down below in the description bar or right here. Put that in there, get $25 off your next order. Thank you so much again to Yode for providing me these watches, for sponsoring this giveaway to you guys, and also giving um, the discount code. And then to all my favorite people out there, I've got more giveaways coming to you in the next few videos. These are just personal things that I bought um, as giveaways for you guys, so I hope you enjoy them too at the end of this month i'm going to be announcing some really crazy life news so um yes i'm so excited okay i'm gonna shut up now i love you guys and i'll see you in a few days bye